Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good today. If you're celebrating a birthday or anniversary, happy birthday, happy anniversary. And um, don't forget to celebrate yourself today, no matter what, and add me to that celebration. Uh, your four-year term. So when uh, President Barack Obama left the White House um, four years ago, Donald Trump became the president. There were a whole lot of bad feelings about that. And I went on radio and I encouraged people, listen, no matter who is in the White House and whatever's going on in the White House, I want to remind you all that it matters more what goes on in your house than the White House. And over the last four years, I've watched you do some tremendous things, some great successes I've watched. Um, we went hard too, and we modified through the law firm more mortgages over the last four years than in the previous year. So it doesn't matter as much, you know, what's going on in the White House as it matters what's going on in your house. For instance, over the eight years of President Obama, it was a great time. How many of you all got great credit or perfect credit? See, we give ourselves not enough credit for what we can accomplish and what we can do. What's happening in our house actually empowers the White House. That's right. So we have to think inside out, not outside in. And these next four years can be great. But I can tell you, my last four years were great. And then the four years before that and the four years before that, because I have done well under Democrat or Republican presidencies, no matter who's in the White House. The Bible says, as a man or woman thinketh, that's who they are. So I don't want us to forget that we're in more control over what happens in our lives than we may understand. And over the next four years, we wish well and pray for the leader that's there. Yes, we do. Joe Biden, just like we should have been praying for the leader before. It doesn't matter because ultimately God is in control. And then when it comes to our lives, we're in control because God gives us the power. Listen, don't forget. Right now is the time when you need to invest more. You need to love more. You need to give more. You need to prepare yourself better. So over the next four years, whatever happens in the White House, we hope that everything goes well. But whatever happens there, what's going to happen in your house? What are the connections going to be with your family, your friends, um, your children, how they're raised, and um, your credit scores, and um, your savings account, and your generational wealth? How many of those ideas that you have and the business ideas are you going to bring to fruition over the next four years? That's how we measure our four-year term. So what's going to happen over your next four years? What is your four-year term going to look like? Some of you all remember when I went on radio after President Obama left the White House and Donald Trump came in and all the bad feelings then you can remember what I said on the radio. I said, listen, it's about my four-year terms. I had t-shirts printed and everything about that. And I'm saying it again. It matters more what happens in your house over the next four years than what happens in the White House. What are you going to do to empower yourself, your family, and your community over the next four years? Yeah. So the leader of the country, um, they're really empowered by what we do. That's right. So we have to make sure we're solid, we're together, and that we have an accountability mechanism so that whatever we see, whatever we want, whatever we determine is our interest, is what we make them do. Frederick Douglass said that power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has and it never will. So what are you going to do over your next four years? What is your four-year term going to look like? Listen, I wish you well today and every single day, and you have a great day.